whitecataractcoach.com. Where's the milk? Approach to the white cataract without milky cortex. Notice no liquefied cortex is leaking out. Let me show you the whole surgery start to finish. Already stained the caps with tripan blue dye. Eyes full of viscoelastic. Now here comes the main incision using a diamond keratome. And this is a white cataract that's obviously been there for a long time. And the patient's now seeking surgery. When we look here, it looks very white, obviously, but there's no intumescent fluid. And I can see that dark shadow between the center of the nucleus and kind of that pupil margin. See, it's a little darker there. And I can tell by looking and touching that anterior lens capsule, it's not really, not really pressurized. And as I start up the rexes, look, it's easy to control. There is no uh, milk coming out, no liquefied lens cortex. So in this case, that lens cortex is still solid. And as a result, we're able to get this rexus done without posterior pressure, risk of Argentinian flag sign again, very, very low. And we'll continue and complete our capsule rex here, aiming for about a five to five and a half millimeter capsule rexus. And there you go, beautifully done. We're showing the whole video start to finish. As you know, I think there's a lot of benefit for a younger surgeon, especially to see a complete cataract case. Now this step, careful, minimal hydrodissection, minimal. Now a little bit of cortex is coming out. And it kind of looks like almost gel-shaped instead of uh, a purely liquid. A little more viscoelastic here to protect that central endothelium. Now the nucleus tilted up like that. I'm going to get that chopper behind it. Just in case there's a dense or thick posterior plate, we'll be able to split that nucleus. So phaco probe going in, chopper on the other hand. And then let's clean up a little bit, get that probe deep into the middle of the nucleus. Chopper got to go around this thing, behind the nucleus even. And yeah, nice and solid. Good density in this lens. And so keep aspirating this thing out and getting more chops as needed. And try to stay here in the center of the eye, kind of operating that iris plane. And I've increased my FACO power here and my flow is very high, 60 cc's a minute, just so things flow pretty quickly. So you can see after that one big chop down the middle, it's all pretty easy. And look at the cortex. So it really wasn't too liquefied, it's still adherent there. You can try to take some of it with the FACO probe if you'd like, or a safer option here would be just the IA probe. And so we'll switch over to that IA probe. And so, yeah, not all the cataracts that are white are going to have intumescence in them. So there's a video on Cataract Coach called Differentiating White Cataracts. I'm not going to show you here on YouTube. You've got to go to Cataract Coach because there are pictures and there's an article, there's text. There's a whole lot of good stuff, diagrams, to show you what's the spectrum here of white cataracts. And you need to be an expert at this, especially if you're in a hospital where you're training and there are a lot of white cataracts. You need to learn the whole spectrum. So cleaning up here, you can see there's a lot of adherent material scarring on the lens caps or bag. You're not going to be able to get all this out. You don't want to damage the, 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 the caps or support there and any zonular support. You don't want to damage it. So clean up as much as you can here. You can see there's some vitreous floaters there. And that may be a big PVD. And now just again, trying my best to clean this up. No zonal weakness that I can detect. And a little aspiration here, again, trying to polish that undersurface of the capsular rim to get out this uh, opaque, scarred kind of cortex material that's on the lens capsule. You're not going to get it all out, and that's okay. Now, there is some sub-incisional material there, and I think we can get that out. So let's put the lens in first, fill the bag with our viscoelastic, and then once you get the lens in, we can kind of swirl the lens around and loosen up some more of that sub-incisional material. And then here's the lens. I'm going to show you here. It's going to, I'm going to load it up myself. So here's the lens. Just want to make sure the tech uh, wanted some help here, so I'll do it for the technician and getting that haptic over. And these are those special grease hubber forceps that are provided by the manufacturer specifically for this lens. So it won't mark up the lens, and it helps to push the lens down the barrel of the cartridge. Now engaging here in the injector, and let's start delivering this thing. Yeah, surprised to see me loading my own lens, aren't you? So here comes the lens, we'll get that inside the eye. And uh, we have our incision on the patient's steep axis of astigmatism, so that's gonna be helpful. That's also why we have a little bit bigger incision, using a 275 incision in this case, instead of a 2.2. And then there's the lens, and now we'll get it, haptics opened up, and you can see just about a five millimeter rexus, that looks pretty good. And I'm really trying to loosen up with that haptic. See how the haptic sub-incision is catching some of that cortex and loosening it? And we're doing that intentionally to really kind of loosen that material up so I can aspirate it. And now I've placed the haptics 12 and 9 so that the optic can come closer to the subincisional space. I want the optic right on the capsule and I want all this fluffy stuff above it. And now look, I can bevel down, go in that subincisional space and really clean out more of that lens cortex. 
It looks like this is an extended depth of focus lens as well. So, wow, patient's going to be quite happy going from a white cataract and seeing nothing to having a pretty wide range of very nice, sharp, clear vision. So, lucky patient. Again, at the end here, cleaning up, the rest of the case will be pretty normal. If you do have a case like this, keep in mind, again, not all white cataracts are the same. If they have a whitish to bluish tint to it, those are more liquefied lens cortex. If they're whitish and you see a dark periphery, like in this case, or even the nucleus, you can see the yellowness of it, then they may be more of the solid or dense white cataract and less of the intumescent fluid or even minimal or none, like in this case. So here at the end, let's seal up that incision. Good hydration back and forth. I like the incision construction. Looks like there's maybe a little viscoelastic still inside the eye. Maybe do a little bit of a sweep here. And you're saying, well, what about the other little stuff on the capsule? Listen, you can't make it perfect. This patient presented to you very late stage game here. And now we've given this patient some beautiful vision. Thanks for watching.